Once there were kings among animals, but not anymore. The fact is that tigers are under threat. Already, three out of eight subspecies are extinct, and the remaining five are now critically endangered. Being one of the tiger range countries, China is taking an active role in conservation. In terms of tiger protection, we've established more than 30 nature reserves and 70 protection stations over the past two decades. We have developed a national plan for recovery of wild tigers to find in the work for the next 10 years. The International Workshop on Transboundary Conservation of Tigers and Other Endangered Species held in southwest Yunnan province is the largest of its kind that is held by China. And its importance in protecting endangered wildlife cannot be understated. The country, China, has a very important role to play. It's a consumer country of wildlife products as well as a country which has a lot to share with other, other nations, you know, in the range countries of, of tiger, which is the topic of this conference, or all the elephants you know, in Asia and Africa. I mean, if you just look at a map, China is central to whether you're talking about tiger conservation or tiger conservation or snow leopard conservation and will rise or fall on the way China uh, treats its wildlife. And right now, it's, if you can listen to the program today, everybody's working very hard for a very positive outcome. In the past four years, 618 natural reserves have been created across southwest China to solve problems of human-wildlife conflict. The ongoing work is to address issues of increasing land use intensity and road construction. Also, I think further cooperation with neighboring countries is very important for the conservation of endangered species. Apart from tiger reservation, the 3D meeting will cover issues such as combating illegal wildlife trade and transboundary conservation. Saving tigers and other endangered species is all about working towards a more balanced ecosystem. The workshop provides an important opportunity for both China and the international community to exchange ideas and experiences on how to protect threatened wildlife and biodiversity. Chun Jing, CCTV, Kunming, Yunnan Province. Well, since the 1980s, China has started overall protection of tigers, and there are four tiger subspecies in China. These include the Amur tiger in the eastern mountains along the border between China's Jilin, Heilongjiang provinces, and Russia. And these number at around uh, 20. The Indo-Chinese tiger in the border regions of China's Yunnan province, Laos, and Vietnam, which numbers around 30 in the country. And the Bengal tiger is found in the forest bordering India and southwest China's Tibet Autonomous Region, numbering about 30 as well in China. And the South China tiger, which is a unique subspecies believed to be the ancestor of tigers. China has only 80 such tigers.